previously in part one of our concierge camping video. You see, we have been invited back to this campsite to do a video and a review of, well, there's a video there, but it got me thinking, when is camping not quite camping? September the 1st. Good morning. Let's go for a little walk. So that's the reception and bar area that we missed last night. We came down too late for a drink, but that's straight into it, wasn't it? Yeah, so it's September the 1st. We are still here at Concierge Camping. We've got two nights. And it's about seven o'clock, I think, five to seven. So, and not dough. Now one does Japanese or Asian food, and the other one is pizza. I know that the days that we're here, they are only doing the Japanese food. Uh, so, we're gonna enjoy that tonight. We have to order online, they suggest that you order online so that you can, um, So I just read the sign. Um, so anyway, um, so the Japanese food is here tonight. But if they suggest you order online to secure a pickup time. Um, so I think basically you order what you want. Put up on a table. Order what you want. And then say, right, we're going to pick it up at seven o'clock or whatever. Um, so we're going to do that tonight. We're just going to do a walk out the road because it's all gravel here. It's a bit crunchy around the um, around the other campers, so I'm just making sure I don't disturb anybody. But it's a nice day. It's supposed to rain. I'm not sure if it will. Great night's sleep. Um, just had sometimes the first night. Oh, there goes a school. Sometimes the first night in the camper van can be a little bit restless, but it's pretty good last night. I woke up feeling quite refreshed. Uh, here we are at reception now. Flowers haven't changed since we were here last. But yeah, still early, so I'm gonna head back to the safari tent um, and make a cup of tea. Gotta have that morning cuppa. Let's 
So here's the question that I've been posing myself for the last 24 hours, it's this camping. We've got a kitchen, fridge, uh, big dining table. How big is this? A 20 foot by 10, 12 foot size room attached to it. Attached to the side of our tent, and I've seen tents this big before. You know, I've seen tents and campsites this big before, but never, um, never with a kitchen in. Although, in today's day and age, you can get quite a lot of gear that um, makes it feel like it's a kitchen. You know, you can get cupboards and fridges and to a lesser extent sinks, although motorhomes have them, running water, hot water, so I reckon this is camping still. Luxurious, it's not even glamping because we're sleeping in the camper van still, we're still sleeping outside, so I'm looking forward to that cup of tea. Uh, today I think we are going to um, Arundel. Um, there's a castle there, not sure how exciting it's going to be for Max, but we've never been to Arundel before, so that is on our agenda. And tonight, as I've said, we're having dinner in the, um, in the Japanese, but we've got to order it as soon as Suzanne wakes up. We will place our order in our pickup time. Hopefully, we haven't missed out. I don't think we will. It's not very busy here today, but tonight, Friday night, I expect it to be busier. Wait, it's Thursday night. So it may not be too bad. Is it Thursday? It's Thursday. Um, anyway, join us and we'll speak to you soon. I didn't get that by the way, feeling with you. Who knows? Hopefully. It's alright. Not burning you? No, not at all. Okay, morning everyone again. And I've spoken to you already, but we're having breakfast now. We've got what we had last time, which is the bread with bacon, but we've forgotten the maple syrup, so ah. we may just lose that really really loveliness that we had last time it may just be really lovely we'll see i'm sure it'll be great uh, really easy to do that's the egg all mixed up and soak the bread in it throw it on the hot plate for what two minutes two minutes for each side well, that's going to be a sandwich it's going to have um nutella in the middle is there there's no milk or anything in there is there yeah, oh a little bit of milk with the egg as well so bacon's burning gotta go Okay, save the bacon. Uh, I wonder if that's where the saying comes from. Don't know. Um, literally, save the bacon. But the veranda's really good, like a little decking area here that's um, just outside the door of the tent. Really cool. It's on the same level, so you can walk in and out with plates. Sorry, it sounds really bright. You can walk in and out with plates and stuff and cups and it's all on one surface rather than it being a step down or anything like that. Um, so we, we are liking that. Uh, and that's where we're gonna sit and eat, so. It's going to be good. Oh, there's loads of them. We've been attacked by wasps. Bacon, totally crispy, totally delicious. Perfect. Mwah. Mm. Good? Mm. Mm. 
we are heading into Arundel. I think I might mention that already. If I haven't, I'll mention it now. Bag in the car. Susie Q's in the car. Max is on a runner. Day Glorious day. Bit of clouds. It's the last, it's the, apparently it's the first day of autumn today. I September. didn't know that. First of September is the first day of autumn. And the sun is shining, but tomorrow I think it's going to rain. Summer is over tomorrow. Which is good and we're going schools home, go back, schools go right? back, back to normal, we've had a brilliant summer. Not over just yet because we're heading to Arundel um, and we are going to do something. We're not sure what yet, Max is really tired, bless him, he's so tired, he's... Um, yeah, he's been on his iPad a lot while we've been doing the videos and just sitting around reading and stuff, so we're going to get away with his iPad, going to do some, get some fresh air see the castle, see some other sites, have a bit of lunch and we're coming back here at, uh, we need to be back here by sort of five or six, well probably four really because we want to do something before we go and eat. Um, but we're checking out their food, they've got a food court and tonight it's Japanese, Japanese and pizza they mix between, tonight is Japanese, we placed our order, we collected it at seven so stay tuned for that because we've never done it before, have we? It'll be the first time we've used their food court so. That is all to come. See you soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to Arundel. Arundel. They have a museum. I don't know, darling. We don't know if we're going in the museum yet. Number one, ruins of Dominican. Go and see how much it costs, Max. Where are we? Where does it say we are? We must be near the car park. I think we're here. Well, baby, you wouldn't pay £1.25 just to throw it in the lake with you. £10 for a family, so not that bad, really. No. But we're still not going to go in. Should we go and have a look at the other river? Let's go this way. Four pound fifty for an adult. Yeah. So this is a river over here. What river is this? Does anybody know? No. The River Arundel. Might be River Thames. No one knows. No, no, I shouldn't think so. It'd have been on that map. We do have a look at the map. We'll find out. We'll find out. It's flowing fast. Whatever it is. Does it look very pretty? No. Water doesn't look very pretty. No, it's a bit murky, but it's a flowing river, so it's probably it's kicking up a lot of... like a memorial for World War I, 1914, oh and World War II, 1913 to 45. Arundel is full of these little gift shops, this one specialising in tea. But there are also lots of cafes. shops. Cheers. Pistachio, how does it go Max? Cheers. Two of I got Max. Three bit of pistachio. Pistachio. Nice.
<coughs> excuse me, Arundel Castle. I'm not going in today because you don't have that much time and it's £25 each. £10 for young Max. Daddy. I don't think Max would appreciate no. that. That'd be £60. Good maths, Max. So we just decided to have a little walk around the outside before we go back to the campsite. Maybe one day when Max is in. When he's interested in history and yeah. seeing things like we are. Or when he stays at home. And when he stays at home and we're touring the country on our own in our death left, what do you call it? Yeah. In our big luxury motorhome. We might visit it, but until then we are looking at it from the outside. So that was Whoa. our flying visit to, to a By the way, this Rundle. is good. We went to the Southampton Chelsea game when Southampton won 2-1. Yeah, come on, Let's you Saints. Go. Oh, when the Saints go, go marching in. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. I want to be in that number. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. Oh, there's a craft market. Oh. What's it called? Do you want to go oh, back? Oh, no. You sure? Yeah. Park here, you can run no. back. We just found there's a craft market that Suzanne wanted to wander around. It's a market that sells crafts. Okay. We are just leaving the town of Arundel. Very nice. Very nice. It's a shame they didn't have any more places to eat or drink. Yeah, there was hardly anywhere that hardly does any. food or drink. We were, there was about 100 shops and about only 95 of them sold food and drink. <laughs> like um, everywhere. So we were, didn't know Restaurants, wine bars, coffee places, cakes, cakes bakeries, bakeries, ice cream ice places. McColl's, where Max was from. Cars. But we are now basically heading back to concierge, uh, to concierge Camping because we are going to record a video that you would have already seen. Click on that link because it's our latest things that we bought for the van. So there might be something useful in there if you're in the market for some gizmos and gadgets. If not, watch it anyway because it helps the channel. Um, it's what we think. Oh, look, there, look, there's out. Thank you. It's what we think Thank is good much. that we've seen. Yeah, it's things we bought, isn't it? It's things that we've actually, when we use every day, well, every day. When we, we use it every camping. day when we're camping more often than not, yeah. Um, so yeah, watch that. Tell us what you think or. Just tell us what you've brought. Tell you us, like yes. What is this good idea? You in the comments below, let us know if there's something that we're missing. Because here's another video of the first lot of camping stuff that we've done. And there may be even another video about the kitchen stuff and all sorts. But, As you yeah. know, my dad releases loads of videos. They're like over 20,000 on this channel. And tell us also, because then I've really started thinking today about the kettle. What's your preference, electric or gas? I'm for gas. And why? Why? I'm for gas, gas because with the optic, when we need electric kettle, it has only happened once in five years. No, I I think it's more convenient and easier for electric. Okay, that's your reason. And if you've got a camping electric kettle, tell us which make you've got. And what type is it? A collapsible? Oh, no, this is, is it small? You know, tell us what you've got. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> we're heading Thank back you. to the campsite and we will check in because we're going, like I said earlier, we're going for our Japanese slash Asian cuisine tonight. Thai. We've never used the food court to concierge camping because it's relatively new and they didn't have it when we were here last time. Uh, so we will take you with us there and we'll let you know what we think. I'm looking forward to that. See you back at the campsites. Love you.
we are now heading for our Japanese uh, it's not takeaway really because we're eating it there but Japanese meal it's going to be very very nice hopefully This nice. How many calcite would you get a of prosecco at? Not that hard on a colic or anything, but it's true. Five fifty glass. Cheers. Cheers. I'm gonna say yes. So they have really cool like so Japanese food here. We've got duck pancakes, it's a whole duck. And they cut it up already for us. Max has got his blanket all sorted out. We've got the normal innards that you get, i.e. the um, uh, what's it is? Spring onion and the sauces and stuff. We've got the pancakes. Um, and I've had a bit of duck and it's really good. Is it? So, yeah, it's going to be lovely. Daddy, rate this campsite out of 10. Uh, I think it's pretty much close to a 10 that we're likely to get, apart from for you. Like the whole campsite. Really good. Really good. Mm. Mm. And when I say really good, I mean really, really good. And when it's not really, really good, I mean really, really, really good. And when it's not really, I think really you can see where that's good, going. I mean really, 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 really good. Yeah, it's really nice. It's a bit different to what we used to from a Chinese duck. I don't think I've had enough sauce. I can't really taste the poison sauce on mine. Mm. <laughs> What do you think? Really good. Max testing out the pork. Let's just see that ball. Do you like it? Yes, yeah, good. Oh, uh, I'm <laughs> I wouldn't say it's too great. Oh, what's that doing? Do it blanket. I wouldn't say it's good, too great. I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Oh, that's all very good. Oh. Annie, what do you give it? Ten out of ten. It's yummy. Really tasty. Guys, you know I'm changing mine to a seven out of ten. The adami beans are nice. Eight the out of ten. cabbage is nice. The rice is really sticky and nice, and the pork is really good. So mine is okay. out of 10. There you go. Max is an 8. So Max is an 8 out of 10. Suzanne is a, te is a 10 out of 10. She okay. really liked it. Okay, my verdict was that was very, very good. Really good. A couple of things about this area. This is like a food court. There's a bar. They've got these tables which are really, really comfy. The lighting is mood lighting, hence it's not great for videoing, but it's a really pleasant place to be. There's big... Um, so they're like uh, halogen heaters above the table. There's a USB charger next to each table. There are these cushions on the table, and you might have seen earlier that Max took a, bit, took a blanket off the lady that brought around a blanket. So it makes you want to stay longer, which is good for them because they can make more beer sales and food sales, which is obvious. But it's just that little bit extra that makes you feel welcome and. 
Mum is liking the rice. Yeah, the food court area here. We didn't come to here last time, but if you are staying here, well, they had they had the bar, they had the area, but they didn't have food. Um, so if you do come, check this area out because it's definitely worth a visit, even if it's just for drinks. But check out the food as well. Not so, not though. Um, really good, really good. So my arm's aching, so I'm going to stop filming. And yes, we were virtually one of the last to leave. We have just got back from what has to be said, a thoroughly enjoyable night. Very nice evening. Really good night, wasn't it good? It's a very nice evening. <laughs> I drank a Prosecco. This, this, this is like almost a bottle of Prosecco, Suzanne. There is a, a, gra a glass of Prosecco left. But, Prosecco? But we've been talking to some nice people. We met Guy, Food. the owner. Mm -hmm. We met Shelley, who's oh, been looking after lovely. us all night. Shelley's so really lovely. good. She got Max a blanket, she's been bringing us drinks. Oh, um, she's the nicest lady. Max spilled his drink and she bought him one that we didn't have to pay for again. And it's just been really nice people, really nice environment. The guys Very did nice. the not so. Um, food was. The food was amazing. Um, food was amazing. And it's just been a really, really good evening. And oh, really we're still nice. camping. We're still camping. Yeah, it was really. I really enjoyed it. Really, really enjoyed it. So we've come really back to the tent tonight. now. The lights. Yeah, the <laughs> lights. Oh, the lights. She's got. She's got all Hollywood on us. She's got all like. Oh, the yes. And oh. good old Shelley. She gave us. Well, Suzanne more than me, I guess. An empty bottle. An empty bottle, which like. Yeah, it's an empty bottle, but. I've just just the Harbour Gin, and I'm going to put my new lights in there that I'm going to get. And she told us where she got her... Um, where they got the lights in the yeah, bottles the that you might see thing. from the video. Yeah. Uh, maybe, I don't know if I didn't see much of the video. Wow. Like that, but the point is, it's been... A lovely evening. A really good evening. Really good evening. The guys looked after us down there. I mean, they looked after, they looked after everybody, but... They were polite, yeah, just they were really, helpful. Really and nice, really nice people. It's, um, the food was, oh my God. The food delicious. was good, so the guys are not so well done. Definitely. Thumbs up to you guys. And and we will be returning. I think we will be returning one day, definitely. Bit of luxury. Bit nice. of luxury, luxury camping. Nice so camping. now we're going to have a nice quick camping. quick couple of games with Max. And I'm going to put my um, But I've had a couple of drinks, but from the heart, thank you guys. It's been, <laughs> I've had a couple of drinks. Um, thank you for looking after everybody. Obviously, not just us, but no special treatment. Oh, but we thoroughly enjoyed. Nice to talk to you. Nights. And nice two nights at the end of the school holidays because Max goes back to school on Monday. It's been like a nice little treat to come away for another two nights. Another two nights. Our night last two nights camping, and we saved for me best till last there you go how's that we've been to a lot of campsites this summer but we've saved the best till last and i agree it's been very good it's been very good so we're going to enjoy the last night here in our little well not little massive uh safari tent and have a game have another drink maybe and we'll see you in the morning so good night everybody morning Friday the 2nd of August our last day here at concierge camping and I think we've enjoyed this I think we've been spoiled um, but the question I posed at the start of this video is is it really camping and we're gonna answer that question in a minute cheers I am a little bit worse for wear this morning. We went, as you might have seen, um, the silliness last night that we um, we went to the food court yesterday and we had something to eat. Food was really good, and we had just a little bit to drink. Um, so a little bit tender this morning. That doesn't really happen when we're camping, but 
and we have two hours to pack up which is going to be a breeze so I am going to do that now and get ready to go traditional hardcore camping but no. we slept in the camper van so as far as we're concerned yeah it was camping it was still camping it wasn't glamping because we weren't allowed to sleep in the tent we had proper camping camper van sleeps yeah. um and i want to know what that is for what else um there's like a little funny shed there it's like it's a on somebody's oh, no, but that might be someone that lives there do you think so could be no yeah and it works here you know, like a, oh, yeah, like a. Oh, we've got a parking spot, quick. Uh, anyway, coffee. we'll talk to you when we're on the road, so we're just going to go and say goodbye to the people inside. Okay, this is a sad day, everybody. Very, very sad day because it is the last time that we have to leave a campsite that we've got planned anyway. Um, yeah. But we finished on a high, I think. Yeah. Definitely. We saved the best till last. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, like we were saying, it is because the whole point of this video, as I said at the start, was is it really camping? The best till last. It is, isn't it? Of course it is. Wash camping. Yeah. Still yeah. Com camping. We slept in the camper van. Camper van. And yeah. everything was camping. Yeah. We cooked on the barbecue. Yeah. The only thing was we didn't have to walk to wash, wash up. up. That's it. We still had to walk to do. Um, I don't know where I'm going, by the way. I'm going into Chichester. Yeah, but I don't know which no. way that is. I think I'm going the right way. Um, what are we going to walk? Oh, disaster. We're going to yeah, walk, so we're gonna walk around the town for half an hour, that's all. Uh, but, but yeah, yeah, no, it was nice. Definitely, I'd like to come back again. Um, yeah. Um, I hope we see a sign. And I'd be quite happy that, although I like the Emperor pictures, I'd be quite happy just to camp there with our awning. Yeah. Um, because I like the campsite. I like the atmosphere of the campsite. I like the staff that work They're there. They're really nice people. Um, the food last night was amazing, I have to say. Um, facilities, as I've said before, are perfect. And I like clean they are spotless. You know. It felt like when, every, both times I went for my shower, it felt like it had just been cleaned. Yeah. Now I'm sure it, I know it hadn't because you could tell as you walked in that it hadn't because it was humid and you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it just the people that go yeah. there clean up after themselves. Yeah, right? yeah. I swept the. I did as well. So I got, like, I oh yeah. Saw I, a drop of water. I was like, I can't oh leave that on the floor. No, I, I swept both times and even just before we left our. Um, Safari tent. The safari pitch, the uh, Emperor, pitch. Emperor pitch. Inside, they've got like a broom and then this sweeper thing, which I've just been Googling because I think they're amazing. I actually swept the floor before it's like a manual hoover, isn't we it? left. It's like, hoover. yeah, yeah. And I've just been um, Googling them to see what they're like. And they've got really good reviews. And it was, it just picked up all the bits. Um, it was great. And I tidied up before we left because I feel like that's what we should do. Yeah, because you want to leave it in. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find, I'm trying to get to Chichester. I'm just going to put that in and see what happens. Hopefully that In 800 us. meters, turn left on South um, Hill. So, yeah, so it was camping. We enjoyed it. We loved it. Thank you. This has been a long summer, a long camping of summer, but it's yeah. been really, really good. Um, Gonna miss camping over the next few months. Whether we'll get the odd weekend, day or night, day or day or night. It's really hard because Max goes back yeah. to school on I, Monday, I and and um, with Max going back to school, it means Friday.
Friday night is busy and Sundays is going to be busy with football. So we have, um, we'll have to see if we can squeeze But we made the in. most of the summer. Yes. We We've had a great time. So thank you for sticking with us. Stay tuned because there is going to be more stuff coming up, whether it's travels or not. But we will get away. We'll find the time.